The SMA inverter in Australia is possibly still the inverter on most Australian walls right now, is it? Yeah. How many are out there? We've got 750,000 installations. I actually happen to have some SMAs myself, and I have to tell you they've never missed a beat. What's going forward? How are you going? by your energy answers. I'm here with Frau Spieltenner from SMA. What's going forward? How are you going? Our focus is really on quality and also long lasting lifetime of the inverter. So if you want to get a good return on investment out of your inverter, that means it needs to last long and you want to squeeze as much out of it as, as, as is possible, right? And the other thing is that we don't just provide a product, we provide a system. And so that means we, we provide you with the EV, with the battery, with the home manager, everything to make your system more, more efficient and cheaper to run. Now, I find a lot of times people buy solar, they think they're not many moving parts, I don't need after sales service, but then after years three, four, five, they do actually think after sales service could be quite good. What's it in that regard? Have you got a team here? Yeah, we've got a big team here of, of service engineers, of, of support all the way through from the end of lifetime of the, of the inverter. So we also have a power up program with uh, installers. So not only do we support the end customers, but we also to support the installers all the way from planning and designing and then in the 10, 15, 20 years right. after right. installations. Okay. Before we started the interview, we had a discussion how possibly a longer lasting product can give you a better financial return. Can you explain why that would be the case? Yeah, well, it's it, it's a no-brainer. If, if you buy a product that's maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars cheaper and you buy it on that basis, but then you have to throw it out after five years, that's way more expensive than actually buying a product that's maybe at a higher price point now, but that's going to last you 10, 15, 20 years. And also the product that allows you to run all of your system, your fridge, all of your appliances, your, your EV car in a much more energy efficient way. And, and as you said, it's also the more environmental friendly option right because you don't want to go green and then you know throw out your inverters and throw out your panels every three years now let's have a quick look at the products that are actually available what's the difference between those two other than the color <laughs> <laughs> well the red one is is everybody's baby and the, the blue one is more powerful the sunny tri power goes up to eight and ten kilowatts and one is obviously three phase and the other one is two phase that was, well, that yeah. was just gonna ask the, the blue ones in the SMA language are always the three phase, are they? That's right, yeah. And the, the red one is the more for single, yeah. single phase homes. And then we've got the Big Bertha. Big, beautiful uh, yellow Sunny Island. The Sunny Island is, is probably one of our most popular products because it's, it's a great off-grid and now also on-grid product. I hear, I mean, one of the things why it's so loved in Asia is because it works really well even in high humidity. So it's actually really quite indestructible, is it? That's right. People will sometimes complain, like, why don't you change the Sunny Island? Why is this still the same product? And it's like, well, why would you change a winning horse, right? right. It's a beautiful product also providing it in a larger size so sunny island uh, 50 kilowatts I got it yeah. so uh, the commercial product in Australia is really busy at the moment because I hear what happened is war in Russia energy prices going up small businesses are struggling to pay the electricity bills in some instances even made their business less viable because suddenly the uh, energy costs have just killed them even when they come down a bit they never forget that experience and so I hear commercial solar is really taking off what's the story there that's right I mean commercial solar has been exploding uh, end of end, end of last year and, and this year and and it seems like businesses can't get enough right and we can't produce enough and supply enough into not just the Australian market, but uh, all over Southeast Asia and of course in Europe. Yeah, as you say, the reason is that that previously uh, it might have been the return on investment on a, on a, on a system might have been, uh, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Now with where the energy prices are going, you're actually talking three years, four years, and, and all of a sudden it becomes a no-brainer for those business owners. And as you say, it just completely de-risks their energy bill. So 
if commercial solar becoming that popular or so, does it mean I, if I have a business and I want solar, I can just ring somebody tomorrow and it's going to be installed two weeks later? Or, or what's the process there? You need to have a sense of forward planning because uh, there is a lot of demand in the market at the moment. So it really pays off to start talking to uh, an installer that you trust uh, right now, start your forward planning, uh, get your order in there and then uh, you can be assured that we can also supply. So, I mean, basically the main thing is about energy security. Solar will de-risk the energy risk for the business and for that reason at the moment, it is very popular. That's right, <laughs> yes. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.